Welcome back. So this is Alice. We are going to build a house for her. She's a sim I downloaded from the gallery. And over the next coming weeks I want to build her a house and I want to show you step by step how to do it. So today we're going to start with walls and empty rooms. So the first thing you do is you go into build mode. Okay, so this is a 20 by 20 lot. It's in Windenburg. So you want to, on the little house on the left, you want to click on walls and empty rooms. Once you, once all these lovely goodies come up, so you've got your wall tool, your room tool, custom room tool. We won't worry about the basements and the platforms for now, so we're just going to work on the walls today. So there are various ways, if you're on the wall tool, you just need to click wherever you want to start your wall. at any shape you like. I find it easier when I'm building to have the walls up and if you click up then you can see it's a, a room. Okay then make sure you're on the select. Okay so that's just one room that we've built for our house and if you click on the room you'll have all these little arrows and goodies so this is copy so if you wanted to copy maybe you want the exact same size but maybe not all the way then you can copy So there you have two rooms and if you want to join them you can either use your wall tool and make a wall to join them. Or if you highlight the box you can join them. So these arrows will extend your room. So you can extend using these arrows. or you can make your room smaller. So that's just your basic wall tool, your room tool. If you click and drag, you've got, makes an entire room for you. I personally use this room tool more than the wall tool. And again, you can drag to increase or decrease. Okay, so that's your room tool. And we've got the custom room which is just really making any shape you like. So you you would draw your wall and then you The green dot is where you carry on from and double click to make your room. Okay, so and to delete you make sure it's highlighted and you just press delete on your keyboard or you can use the backspace, the undo button. I personally don't use the triangular, the triangle room. I find as soon as you want to enlarge the triangle it just, it 
doesn't really work so well. I prefer, if I want a triangle shape, I just draw it with the wall tool. It's actually easier to make my own. It's a square room, L-shaped room. The octagonal rooms I use quite a bit. Actually is nice for if you want to make bay windows. And then we've got the new rounded rooms. So if you want to ever turn the room around, you just click these rotate. And to move a room, use this move. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we've got a basic shell. I'm just thinking we can maybe add another room, maybe over here, or what we could have done is just clicked on this and extended. So we've got a basic shell. Okay, now to change the wall height, you make sure your box is highlighted and then at the moment it's on a short wall so there's medium and it changes all the rooms that are connected or you can have a tall wall I think we'll keep it medium for now and then again making sure your one of your wall one of your rooms is highlighted. You can change the foundation height. That's this little arrow with the block. So you can you just click and drag. Drag up. And that changes the foundation for you. Again highlights if you want to Click and drag to decrease as well. I think we'll give it a maybe two clicks. There we go. So for that she shouldn't need stairs. Okay, then with walls, if you make say you wanted to have a fence here, say maybe you have an idea that this might actually be a porch, and you can make sure that where you want the fence so make sure this room is highlighted and then you click and you can remove your wall again make sure it's and you can re remove the floor so let's just undo that so you click on whichever wall you want to so we'll just do this front wall and we'll replace with, you can do a half wall. Or a fence. You can actually make the support, so we'll just grab the room tool. You want to break down a wall you just use a sledgehammer highlights and then we can again click on and fence here we go we've got a little porch and then over here we can just if you use the sledgehammer that that will delete the roof and there you have a little porch so that's a very basic shell 
I'm hoping it will be big enough for Alice. I'm sure. But there are many ways, I mean there's so many different ways to build in The Sims 4. You've just got to find a way which is easy for you. But that's the basics of walls and empty rooms. So we've also, we've also got this diagonal room. Maybe we can add some. You can just, normally with the room, you can actually just squeeze it in wherever you want. And it will just fit in, so that'll give an interesting angle. And we can maybe just, there we go, so that's, okay. So that is our very strange shell, which a little bit of curves. And that is the basics of walls and empty rooms. So in the next tutorial we can do some roofing and maybe some platforms and we can maybe even do a basement. So I'll see you next time.